in the deep dark hills. Well, me and Justin's loaded up here in the truck again. We're headed down to Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. It's up around Lexington, Frankfort area, I believe, just on the other side of it, I think. But I'm going up here to pick up a puppy. Molly had a litter with Abby and Harlan. If you follow my channel, you know who they are. She had two females out of that litter. And every day that I wake up, I think, how can I make a better dog? And she only had two females. And I contacted the guy that I sold her to. And we're heading down there to pick her up. So I'll have Harlan, Abby, not really sure what I'm going to name this puppy. She's a little female and we'll be there in about two hours. Well, Siri said they may be a lane closure, but we're still on the fastest route. We just took exit 113 off I-64. Turn right. And uh, this is kind of real close to the Tennessee border because the guy that actually... 1.2 miles. Turn right onto West New Circle Road. You got that? Anyway, the guy that has the dog lives in Tennessee and he's meeting us up here, but we're getting closer. Where the sun comes up. We just got on the Bluegrass Parkway, man. There's a lot of beautiful horse farms up here. I'd say there's a lot of coons with tree around this place too. Real pretty places. Here at this big farm. Can you imagine putting all that fence up? Grandma, she sold our cheek And then moved out west to Pineville To a farm where big rich land never winds I just realized something. I'm gonna have to build me one of them castles. Maybe I'll get my wife two or three jobs and get Justin working and he can be the, well, you want to be like the yard person, clean the yard up and stuff? Yeah. Groundskeeper? Groundskeeper. We're supposed to meet about 1 o'clock. It's 12.30 now. We're a little early, and he's running a little late. I think he'll be here about 1.30. So we're going to go over here and visit the Wild Turkey Bourbon Distillery. That must be the warehouse is where they store the bourbon. But the times ain't got hard And tobacco wasn't selling No granddad knew what he'd do to survive Went and dug for hard and cold The wild turkey tour bus here I said I could bring the camel so I went back and got it Hello, I'm Bubba This Bubba, he's giving the wild turkey tour you tell my calf I'm an over eight core drill instructor. If I go brain dead and start screaming, get off my bus and get on them yellow footprints, don't you pay a bit of attention to me. <laughs> I've been on the go brain dead occasionally. The year was 1869 and two brothers came over to Ireland, John and James Rippey. The Rippey brothers set up right straight behind the business here on the Kentucky River. There's a limestone shelf that runs through central Kentucky. Limestone pet water is outstanding for making bourbon whiskey. The Grangeville Cookwood will flow into a hammer mill right below us. They'll be rolled into powder form like flour and cornmeal into the grocery store. Now we can cook. Now Windows 1 right here and Windows 2 are two identical cookers. If you see one of them, you've seen them both. They're 12,000 gallons each. Now we're going out here where we ferment it. We make that yeast on top of that mash, remember? Oh, my, what you see? 
the mouth of this hollow We'll never leave home Then we go to the start of the ring and put you back to it Right there, whoops Don't put you back to that ring Everybody put their backs to the ricks across from me and line up straight across from me. Alright, they all feel how cool it is in here. Isn't that amazing? 95 degrees outside, 98% humidity during July and August. It feels cool year round. You know why? Underneath these underneath these ricks behind you and behind me, there's no flooring. There's nothing but the ground. Now remember I told you you can take photographs in where you want. Now let me tell you something right now. There's no floor underneath there, and this built in 1890. If you drop your camera or you drop your phone, you have lost it. <laughs> On my tours alone in the last eight years, I can count nine cell phones and 11 cameras underneath there. You're not allowed to go after it, and I ain't. There's varmints underneath there. Where the sun comes up, I'm our team. You pick that glass up, the first thing I want you to do is close your mouth. And with that mouth closed, I want you to sniff the glass. That's gonna open up your sinuses. Now, second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open your mouth and you're gonna sniff it one more time with that mouth open. And that'll begin the flavors that I'm talking about. Then you will take three tiny sips, not a gulp, a sip. First sip, it can be extremely warm on your palate. I want you to roll it around in your mouth, flush it around a little bit, and then swallow it. Second sip will be warm going all the way down the bottom of your stomach. Now that third sip will smooth out and give you the flavors I'm talking about if you're good at flavors. Now I'm gonna be quite frank with you, I can taste hot and cold, sweet, sour, and that's it. But if you're unlike me, I know what's in them bottles. If you're unlike me and you're good at flavors, you do what I just said, and you pick it up, I'll tell you what I'll do. At the end of the first bottle described, I'll walk you through what I just said, word by word, step by step. That way you should be able to pick it up and do the final four after I describe them to you one at a time on your own. Now this is the way we're going to taste these. The Marine Corps way, from left to right. Do you see the way Bubba's holding this bottle? Like a baby. <laughs> you know why? It's my favorite. There's two reasons that rare breed's my favorite. The first reason is, I think your best bourbons come straight out of the barrel and go straight to the bottle. There is no down proofing with distilled water. This is called barrel proof bourbon. It's a combination of six, eight, 12 year old barrels. It's gonna have a very spicy, caramel, vanilla flavor. On about the th second sip, you're gonna get an explosion of citrus on the mouth. You're also gonna get what I would call a little bit of cigar box woody smoothness to it. Now you take six, eight, 12 year old barrels and you put them together without any distilled water, 116.8 proof. It's in that bottle at 116.8 proof. Now girls and guys, listen carefully. Do not, and I'm gonna repeat, do not drink three shots of this and be talking to no highway patrol. <laughs> because your tongue gonna weigh about three pounds and he won't understand what word you say. Now the second reason I like this, 1957 in a little town called Granite Quarry, North Carolina, where I grew up. 842 people, old man named Earn Lyle, had a grocery store and a general store and a 52 Ford pickup truck. That back in them muscle car years, and that old Ford pickup truck went flat and fly. I was 17 years old, junior in high school, 57. I went to work for that old man every Friday night. If 
from three to seven all day Saturday, seven to seven for 50 weeks and 57 delivering groceries to his customers. That old man paid me $98 for the whole 50 weeks. I did my income taxes in April of 58 on $98. Last year, my 78th year, I set a tire fence, I'm gonna do my taxes. I got by with it 60 years ago and I'm gonna do them again. I knew rules regulations changed, so I got me a book on and I studied up. I sat down last March at my desk at home and I started working them tax forms. And I don't mind telling you I got just a bit frustrated. <laughs> so while I was working on my drink, about a third a bottle of this 116.8 proof rare breed. And I'm gonna get close to three and a half million dollars back then. <laughs> Well, a tasting test just ended, and my dog just arrived, so we're going to go out here and get my little female. Yeah, fine, buddy. Yep. We came out here, and we're at a different gate. I just sent them my location to where I'm at. There's supposed to be some kind of view or scene down here that's featured in a lot of magazines or something. I'm going to go down here and record a little bit of that. And wait on them to get here. Good little Molly. Good little Molly. Back home, we got the paper signed, got the dog in the box, and I'm absolutely burning up. It's hot out here. I'm ready to get home. I think we're gonna name this little female Glancy's American Honey after the wild turkey distillery there. We gotta pull up, get some gas, and get to the house. Until next time, put them on the wood.